everyone. If this is your first time here, nice to meet you. I'm XOB, and if you are one of my wonderful returning subscribers, I love you more than leggings themselves. Today, we are doing a video that I'm a little uncomfortable with. <laughs> but since my experience with this company, I've noticed that there's two main issues that we seem to run into. Number one, as we saw in my squat test fails, some of their leggings aren't exactly squat proof. And then something that I try to steer away from as much as possible on this channel, they might have some issues with camel toe. Nobody wants that. Number one, I don't want all of my goodies on display. Number two, it's just not comfortable. Like at all. I have a lot of duplicates here just in different colors, but just like a lot of other leggings, some colors are squat proof, some are not. So we're gonna go through all the pairs that I currently own. Now, in addition to the pairs that you're going to see today, I did also have the original seamless leggings that I got from Hope Scope herself, actually. And then I also had the peach flex leggings. Those didn't work out for me, so I sold those. And then I had the two-toned leggings in purple wash. And they just, oh, the fit was just, it was all wrong. So I have tried other pairs, but I no longer have those. So we're just gonna work on the stuff that I do. One more thing, I just want you guys to know that this is not going to be an in-depth review. If you would like one, let me know in the comments. I can absolutely do one. But this is just going to be focusing on camel toe or no, squat or not. All right, so let's start with the Flex collection. This color is called Beat. Okay, so as you can see, so far, so good. Everything's looking pretty opaque. There was one thing that I noticed though, when I go down into a full squat, you can see right there at the top of the contour, there's my underwear. And onto the camel toe test. So everything, again, is looking pretty A-OK. -okay. So I'm definitely gonna call it a no on the camel toe. I think both areas we did pretty good. Up next, we have the exact same pair of leggings, but in lilac. And the lilac passes just like the beat did. So we can skip through the squat portion. And onto the camel toe test, which I also expect to be the same, but let's see up close. Yeah, we're pretty good, but just look at the very end here. When I put my legs together, there is a tiny outline. And this is my last pair of the flex leggings, and this is in the color khaki. And there isn't much difference in the khaki. I feel like there might be a little shadow where my booty crack is, but nothing serious. Small problem with the khaki. See the seam from the crotch gusset? When you put your legs together, you can kind of see the outline of it and it looks really gross. But other than that, these are amazing leggings. I'm really impressed. You have the flex leggings, like girl, yes. I feel like this is another very popular legging from Gymshark. This is the Energy Seamless legging. And this again is in the color khaki. Right off the bat, we can clearly see that this is going to be a knot. It is not squat proof. No matter what underwear you wear, I feel like you're going to find issues, whether it be seeing your butt crack or seeing your underwear. Either way, this is a no. Let's move on to the camel toe test. At first glance, you might think you're okay, but I assure you that you are not. Here we go. Yeah. When you put your legs together, it's actually quite horrific. Same legging, just in the color purple wash. Yeah, same legging, same issue. The purple is not any better than the khaki. We are still very, very sheer. Maybe these should have made it into my squat test fails videos because um, you can clearly see the tag from my underwear. And of course, we really don't even need to test for the camel toe because if the green pair was bad, the purple pair is gonna be bad. Oh my God, I seriously hate everything about this. All right, we're gonna stick with the seamless leggings and these are the seamless ombre leggings. The color is peach and gray. I had really high hopes for these and they're actually not bad at all, but if you look closely at the top, you can see the white from my underwear. But if you wear nude underwear, I think you would be golden. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for another camel toe or no. So far at the start, it's looking pretty good. 
But I do have to direct your attention to something again. This seam does horrible things to you. When you put your legs together, oh God. Oh, it's scaring me, I hate it. Up next is the burnout leggings. These were one of the pairs in my squat test fails, so I can hardly tell you how this is gonna work out. Or I guess I should have said how it's not going to work out. Guess who needs to work on making their leggings more opaque? Yeah, it's Gymshark. Everybody would much appreciate it. Don't argue with me, it needs to be worked on. And now it is time to go into the, yes, you guessed it, the camel toe portion. Obviously, as you can see, these are black, so it does hide some things for us. But if we're up close, and again, same thing, put your legs together, and you're going to run into the same issue of having the outline. All right, last pair, and I'm just going to warn you guys right now. We have a real fail coming up. What we have here is the Gymshark Fit Leggings. The last time I did my squat test in these leggings, I had a cheeky underwear on, so they were a little bit more full coverage. Today I'm wearing a thong, which is what I would wear to the gym normally, so to be fair, this is what I would look like at the gym. Just brace yourself, okay? Here we go. That's it. That is what they call a pair of leggings. I call those nylons. I'm sorry that I had to censor them, but honestly, this is for your own good. I already want to leave, but we still have to go through the camel toe portion. I'm just going to tell you right now that these leggings are pretty much the same as the rest of them. They're fine as long as your legs are not together. But newsflash, people have to put their legs together at some point. I'm sorry, but something has to be done about this, Gymshark. You are killing us. Imagine wearing those to the gym and not have done the squat test before you went you are 100 percent exposed how did we get to this show your work what went wrong i need to follow every step of the process and i need to understand how you could have failed this badly did you see that i would like to unsubscribe to these leggings okay all in favor of me burning these leggings, hands up. Yeah, burn them. Thankfully, that is the last pair because I honestly do not think I could handle anything worse than that. So obviously Gymshark is a little tricky. Some stuff is actually really good and some stuff they could work on and other things are just trash. Lucky for us ladies, there are plenty of women who did videos on the Gymshark leggings and some did focus on the camel toe and the squat test like I did. But yeah, I can't stress it enough. Do your research. But that's all that I have for today. Don't forget to SNL before you go. Remember that I love you more than leggings itself and I'll see you in the next one.